Hi everyone, Rob here from the Department of Education at Cape Breton University, and I'm in the RBC Lecture Theatre here now on campus. And we're going to just be demonstrating a couple of strategies that you could use using Teams and using uh, some other digital resources while you are teaching a live class with social distancing uh, in place. So I have a couple of sample students here with me uh, in the lecture theater. And we're also going to be porting in my colleague, Carolyn Kraber, Dr. Kraber from, uh, from at home. And she is going to be joining us with Teams. So that'll give us a little bit of a flavor of uh, what things will look like for a synchromodal class. Now, in the uh, Bachelor of Education program, we're not going to be running synchromodal classes, but uh, there may be others who end up seeing some of these demo videos who could benefit from seeing how you could connect in, uh, in that respect. So I'm going to go into Teams now, and I am going to start up a new meeting. So for my students here in the class, you should all be members of this team now, and we're going to start our, our presentation shortly. And I'll ask you to log in on your devices to Teams and join the meeting once you get the meeting request. And that way uh, you can follow along with uh, the resources. You can access anything that I have set up for the class. And for right now, you can just keep your mics muted. And you could probably even turn your volume down. But if you're having a bit of trouble hearing me because I'm up here at the front and I'm wearing a mask, then uh, you could always turn your volume up and it might be useful to actually wear a headset so that we don't get an echo here in the classroom. So that might be helpful for some of you who are way in the back in this lecture theater who can't hear me speaking. Uh, you can hear me through Teams. So let me get a meeting started now. So I am in my team and I'm just going to hit the, uh, the meet now button. And for this, uh, for our purposes now, I'm just going to invite my uh, two demo students and my demo student who's at home directly to the meeting. But for an actual class, I'd set up the meetings in Teams in advance and add my channel. And then everyone would automatically get the invite. So just, uh, just a moment here now. And I am not going to turn on my webcam because uh, simply for the fact that I'm already using my webcam to capture my screen using Screencast-O-Matic, and I don't want to cause any conflicts. So, and I'm going to turn my webcam off here, hit join now. And it's taking me a moment to connect to the meeting. So I'm in the meeting and I am going to invite people to join. I'm just going to click add participants this time. So I'm going to inv enjoy invite Lynn and I'm going to invite Robin and I'm going to invite Carolyn. So it's calling you now. You can all join on your device. If you can't get a connection and you're here in the lecture theater, no big problem. You're going to see everything on the screen. But if you are at home, you should now be seeing this. And um, and if I could ask you all to mute your mics so that we don't get any feedback. All right, so welcome, Carolyn. Hopefully uh, you're able to hear everything from there at home. Okay, so we are all good. We are here in the meeting now. And um, and we are up on the screen here and the, in the lecture theater. And I've got a couple of students and we're also here on Teams.